Okay, Leah wants to know how you feel after a performance. Um, exhausted. Um, go straight and lie in a bath or have a shower, and um, there's that wonderful feeling of achievement that you can have from uh, having delivered it to the best of your ability. I think it's a bit like a ask someone if they're going to just run a marathon, how they feel. So uh, every night it's like that for me. So uh, I wouldn't do it if I didn't enjoy it. So there's your answer, really. Debbie Pachiro wants to know what question do you hate being asked most? Uh, about the name, you know, people have asked me a million times, what, you know, why did you choose the name Adam Ant? And um, I don't hate it, but it just seems a bit, um, after the however many thousandth time of explaining it, it uh, gets a little bit tiresome, but um, you still got to answer. But um, that one, I think it's about unimaginative, really. And Gazero asks, do you wear cologne, and if so, what kind? Oh, yeah, I always wear uh, aftershave, and um, I'm keeping that a secret because I, really, I don't really want to give that away. But it's uh, a high street brand, you can, you can get it, but uh, I, I, I think it's, uh, I think it's uh, it, you know, it makes you feel good after a shave. I like to shave every day, so I vary it a bit, so um, you know, it, it, it has varied, but... Not, not very much. I've probably used about three different uh, fragrances during the course of my life. Askel Corpi Oscar wants to know what is the favourite song you have made? Um, I always, uh, I've got a, um, an affection for the song Dog Eat Dog because that was the first song that we recorded where I felt we actually got the kind of, uh, the sound the sound on Kings of the Wild Frontier right, that was the one when it all kind of made sense and um, all the different ideas that, that had been put together to try and do something fresh came together and I think Dog Eat Dog was the the one that sounds, um, doesn't sound like any other record that I've made or anybody else has made really so that one's always, because it was such a, um, a testing ground and that was the kind of, when I made that I kind of realised that how Kings of the Wild Frontier album would sound so Doggy dog. Ian Casey wants to know is if there's any Bazooka Joe tracks that are recorded but not released. Not to my knowledge, no. We never had the. Uh, we never got signed, and we didn't really have um, the opportunity to make a record, which is sad because I think it was a good band. But no. Caroline Katmer wants to know when you're touring in the UK, where's your favourite venue? Um, there are no favourite venues. Every venue to me is. Um, it's a theatre, you know, um, and I enjoy the, the different audiences where, you know, whether you're playing in Scotland or Ireland or England, Wales, it's, uh, I think it's rather unfair to have a particular favourite venue because um, it's the show that matters, the venue is really merely the platform, so uh, it's, it's uh, I, the, the one show that I am, I am doing in, in, um, in, uh, on the 11th of May at the Roundhouse is kind of special because I played there 35 years ago with X-Ray Specs and um, that's kind of a historic moment for me and I used to go there when I was a kid and watch um, a thing called Implosion at the Roundhouse where there'd be people like Genesis and, and uh, Lowell Coxill and Bowie turning up playing acoustically so that's a quite historic building but to me it's, uh, to quote Frank Sinatra, it's a room. Stuart Cochran wants to know with the hits that you've written which came first, guitar hook or lyric? Um, it's always well. It it it, it varies, but the, you know you get an idea for a, either a chord structure or a um, a melody, a top line. The lyrics sometimes I come in with lyrics, but you know sometimes I'll develop a lyric over the course of a song, change it at the last minute. It it, it really there's no particular formula for it, but I always. I never really go into the studio unprepared, I always demo the stuff before we actually go to finalise it, so by the time we master it, it's kind of worked out, so, um, you know, there's no last minute kind of, um, and there are, you can do last minute alterations, but the actual, um, it's quite a, it's quite a, an unusual process, sometimes you get the idea for the lyric first, sometimes it's the music.